everybody and welcome to Northern Lion Tries Cards. Cards with a K. This is a World War II themed free to play card game on Steam. I know almost nothing about it except reviews are very positive. It came out this week and it's not a deck builder. For that, I just want to get that out of the way right off the bat. I don't believe this is a deck builder. I believe it's more like a Hearthstone style game, which is, you might be confused. You'd be like, don't you build a deck? And you're like, well, yes, but it's not really the same thing. Anyway. Welcome to Cards. Attack and destroy the German headquarters at Arnhem before the enemy reinforcements arrive. The enemy starts the game. Rigged. Enemy infantry spotted. The enemy just deployed a good unit to the battlefield. Let's hope you draw a good card. Your turn. Alright. It's my turn. Your first infantry unit. The 506th Airborne is an infantry unit. Infantry units can move either can either move or attack each turn. Start by deploying it in your support line. Drag and drop the card on either side of your headquarters. You know, right off the bat, you're a 1-2, I'm a 2-2. I don't know what the 1s and 2s mean. I assumed it was attack and defense, and there you go. Now you gotta face me. You wanna get to the headquarters? You're gonna have to get through me. Front line has been taken by the enemy. The enemy captured the front line and is now in position to attack your HQ. Attack the enemy unit and halt the German advance. Check it out. I will do that. First, well, excuse me. Okay, so we permanently lose the HP, I think. And then, infantry. 2-2. Two, two. Can I place you on the front line? I can't. They can't move or attack the turn they're playing. Understood. Probably should have put it over here as well. Okay, so I'm getting it already. Positioning actually matters a little bit more than it does in some other games like this. Like in Magic, I think it generally doesn't matter at all. In Hearthstone, it matters a little bit. The front line has been cleared of enemy units. I'll advance your units and get into position to attack the enemy HQ. You know what? I don't mind if I do. Why don't you move up? Can I move over here now? I can move over here now. And then we'll play these guys regardless. You can't move and attack on the same turn with the infantry, so what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, blast me? Too bad. Look at that. It's my turn. You've drawn your first order. An order card can be used only once and then is removed from play. Use it wisely. Deal two damage to a target in the enemy support line. Check this out. There's two damage right to your dome piece. And then, guess what? I've taken your headquarters. You have exploded, and I have just won the Second World War. Look at that. Click continue to start the next tutorial. There's only two tutorials, so we're, we're pretty much, uh, we're off to the races pretty soon. Playing a card from your hand costs credits. You also pay credits when your moon it's, when your moon it's I apologize for my many mispronunciations at the start of this episode. It's been a long day of recording. 7.30 p.m., the sun's still out and beautiful. My mind is not on reading right now, so we're just gonna block out all of that. We're gonna start to actually look at the text on the screen, process it. You're about to witness the birth of the Chosen Gamer. Playing a game... The birth of the chosen gamer. Playing a card from your hand costs credits. You also pay credits when your units move or attack. Understood. We go first this time. Step one, you gain a credit every turn. Guess what? 506th Airborne, welcome to the show. You just made our list of things to do today. Credits are the resources that you use to play cards and operate units. The cost of each card is displayed in the upper left corner. You didn't do anything. We, we, you didn't do anything. We made one move. It cost us a credit. I can live with that. Look at the, the amazing tempo we've got is out of control. You played a 2-1. A you now have enough credits to attack the enemy with the 506th Airborne or to deploy another infantry unit. You cannot do both. I understand. Well, here's my two cents. War, war is complicated. Let's not give them the tempo to play something huge. Instead, let's play our own 4-4 four, four here. And then we'll see what they want to do with the... What do you want to do with the front line here? Arnhem. What do you want to do with the front line? You want to you wanna blast me with an order. Okay, that's fair. Understandable. You have drawn your first tank unit. Tank units can both move and attack in the same turn. Oh my god, you're dead. You fool. You, you died. Oh, but they can't move or attack the turn they come into power. Okay, you know what? Am I going to spend a credit to blast you? Of course I'm going to spend a credit to blast you. Can't move as well, but that's okay. 
Right now, I, I support this. I feel like we got a good lineup. What are you, what are you putting out here? You just, just hit me for four directly. Didn't even buy me dinner first. Okay, we got five credits. Give a ground unit plus one, plus two. I believe this is where you now go like this. You move this tank up there. You move the infantry. You give your tank a little bonus damage and you go kapow. How do you like me now? Toby Keith. What are you gonna do? The M1 Abrams is on your doorstep. You've deployed your own tanks. What is this plus here though? Does that, that probably means they're wounded. Guess what? Here comes the explosion. Oh my god, it's so loud. All right, nifty little game. Uh, mechanics novel, but still like, uh, you know, familiar. Let's put it that way. You have now completed the basic tutorial. Let's let's see what happens. Let's see what kind of what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. You have now completed the basic tutorial. Select a starting nation and unlock the starting decks of all other nations by defeating them in battle. All right. Um, well, I'm Canadian as usual. We did you know we did our part in the Second World War. But when they're only choosing five countries to display, the noble Canadian is left at home. Ain't nobody talking about Juno Beach except us. So we'll, we'll default to Britain. <laughs> the vast empire was caught off guard when the war broke out, but adapted quickly to new types of warfare. With their formidable fleet, advanced aircraft, and incredible stubbornness, the British forces never gave up an inch without a fight. The British also had an ace up their sleeves when it comes, up to, the, when it comes to the gathering of intelligence. For the Allies, this would prove to be one of the mightiest weapons of all. Okay, sure. Now, who must we defeat? I mean, it's a classic. It's the rematch everybody's been waiting for. Britain versus America. 1776-2. Get your tickets. This seems like an event that would be on uh, DAZN TV network. What do we like here? The mulligan stage takes place at the start of battle, and it is where you are given the option to redraw your starting hand. All right. Um, a lot of these are too expensive. Get rid of Convoy, please. And get rid of this buff that we can't really use early. And draw some cheaper units, maybe? Nope. <laughs> You've just drawn a card called Spitfire Mark 1A, which is a fighter unit. Fighters can attack targets anywhere on the battlefield and prevent enemy bombers from attacking other targets in the same front. Okay. I understand. You played some infantry. I'm not surprised. You've made your infantry slightly, well, markedly stronger, to be honest. You have just drawn an ability card. Or, you know, you've drawn a card that has uh, the Fury ability. Units with Fury can attack twice each turn. I gotta be honest with you. I feel like I gotta get something out there. Yo, do you hear the rumble? I felt it in my gut. I feel like they got good tempo on me turn one. But they don't have a turn two play. One extra credit slot. What, you're a, a druid from Hearthstone? That's all right. Don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. Resolute defense. Give a unit with guard. Plus one, plus three. I can't do that. So here's what we're going to... Oh, we can do that, but we'll have to wait till next turn. One, five. Yo. Adjacent units cannot be attacked except by bombers and artillery. So we made our, we made our headquarters immune. Fantastic. I got to say, very polished... And, and I love playing a card game against the AI because they don't brag when they beat me. You got rid of my... You got rid of my guard, you jerk. I needed that. Your HQ is immune to damage on your turn. All right. I mean, we got we to gotta make a move at some point. Guess what? The Baluk Regiment is coming to play. What? You're making a terrible mistake. You're letting British air superiority get out there. I see you only got one card in your hand, dummy. Look at the card advantage. The enemy is taking the front line. Big freaking whoop is what I say about that. I say big freaking whoop. The enemy has just played a card called the M8 Greyhound, which has the blitz ability, the mate Greyhound. It can move and attack the same turn it comes into play. So, I'm a doctor too. You've just drawn a card called the Churchill Mark IV, which has the guard ability. I know, I know. Okay, so now we're popping. This is where the pop must begin. Step one. 
Step one, I said. You gotta go. Congrats. You're toasted. What happens next? It's a great question. I think it looks something like this. I think you go like, it's gonna cost us a lot of credits to do this. You gotta be very careful. And I think they're, they're running out of tempo. We could play... Oh, no, we can't play a good unit because I already spent some energy. Okay, so let's do it. <laughs> All right, we've roasted and toasted you. You are a fool. You're still alive, but... You got so few cards, I'm not afraid. My, my planes are coming out soon. The enemy has just played... A card called T-19 Howitzer, which is an artillery unit. Artillery can attack units anywhere and receive no damage in return when attacking. Units attacked by this lose guard this turn. Oh, baby. Uh, the six-pounder. Pardon me. Now, this is where things get real. Step one. An airplane has now arrived on the field. Go ahead, do your worst. I have air superiority. What are you going to do? Shoot me? All right. That's a good play. That's another pretty good play, honestly. But you know what? No. Okay, we got to figure out what we're going to do here. Oh, cup of tea! Give your British units plus two defense. <laughs> My god. That's genius. Why didn't I think of that? So here's step one. Let me tell you. You want to know what step one is? Great question. Step one is your artillery's dead. Step two. We're putting the six pounder out on the field. Step three. We're all drinking a cup of tea. So our plane doesn't die in one hit. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, sing it from the mountaintops. Or at least the top of Piccadilly Circus. I'm ready. You can't kill my airplane. It's too strong. See? What did I tell you? That's my turn. You will rue the day. It's a blitzable. It costs three to play and two to act. It's going to die to pretty much anything. So I would not necessarily recommend. I got to tell you. I'm loving the airplanes here. Wouldn't mind having some better infantry, but y you know what? I think we get a second airplane out on the dang field. And then what do you do next? This thing is, is engaging in incredible trades right now. Now we're just grinding them down. We're just waiting until he draws a crappy card, and then we can pile on. That's a crappy. That's crappy enough. When it attacks, deal one damage to a random enemy in the same front. Big whoop. Big frickin' whoop. Okay, where do we go from here? It's very simple. Probably. Play this. You're toasted. And I lived. What a world. Now, we got three energy left. Life is but a dream, baby. Play a unit with guard so our plane can't be attacked. And then move our own units to the front line and begin our assault. This is probably way slower than it had to be. But we have taken control. Excuse me. What's your thing? Oh, maybe you just attacked. You just attacked. Okay. Okay. You got two? Guess what? You're dead. Now I control the front line. Your life is over. Get some more infantry out there. Do one damage. Hey, it's a start. Pass turn. We have complete board control. All right. I don't know what I can do about that one, honestly. Let's see if we get good draw. Deal five damage to an enemy tank. No, we'll draw two cards. You've just drawn a card called Baluch Regiment, which has a deployment ability. They trigger when the card is played from hand. Okay. Give your HQ plus two defense. I thought I had already done that, but perhaps not. So what do you do here? I think it's very simple. I think you just keep attacking. 
Um, we don't really need the defense, but we can play it if we wanted to anyway. I think you just get a tank out there, dude. And honestly, next step, move one of these guys down to the freaking front line. Your world is about to come crashing down. You know what's funny is I think a lot of people would snooze this game um, because of the theming. For me, I just think it's more in keeping with my interest to have a game like this with a little bit of a historical bend to it. Obviously, like, this is not how the war was played, is on a Gwent table. But you know what I mean? Like, this is a more interesting theme to me than like, hey, it's yet another game where you're in a tavern and there's wizards and warriors slinging cards at each other. Like, I, I find this a little bit more interesting. Um, at least it's a breath of fresh air, let's put it that way. Um, so you guys, are, you're, you're doing great, sweetheart. Let's get some high damage units out there. It's as good as it gets. Um, and then, you know what? Heavy armor and guard. Guard. Let's put you out here. And then, you know what? Let's make your siblings stronger. I'm ready. It's over. You remember when the British fought the Americans in the Second World War? It was a landslide victory. Okay, step one. You're moving up. You're moving up. Okay. Now, you know what? I think we just maintain board position. Get ready for our lethal next time. Get this bad boy out here. Get this bad... Look at this. It's. I almost feel bad. I don't, but I almost feel bad. I'm this close. He did, they didn't even play. They've surrendered. Embarrassing. I'm too lazy to do the math. <laughs> what would win? The American military or one tiny British boy? Turns out one tiny British boy. It's the only rule you need to have in competitive card games. If you can kill the enemy with your weakest enemy, you always do it. All right, let's 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 see what's going on with the uh, Japanese starter deck. And let's try to play as the Americans this time. I'm actually, I'm digging this a lot so far, to be honest with you. Is it doing anything I've never seen before? No, not really. I mean, it has some mechanics that are a little novel, but it, it's not turning the whole world on its head. But, but for a free card game, seems pretty great so far. Um... Deals two damage to the target enemy unit in the front line. If this destroys it, draw a card. I love it. Let's mulligan that. Okay, we got some cheap airplanes. You love to see it. End turn. Go ahead, Japan. I'm ready. The Himeji Regiment. You're not on the front line, so I'm not doing anything yet. Just, just play it cool. You're a 3-1 unit for one? Yo. Must be nice. So we trade, but if you move up to the front line, I'm killing you for value. Ooh, okay. You've made a terrible mistake. Although we could play an airplane instead. <laughs> wait, but wait, our airplane would be destroyed by the infantry. So in this one, I think you start with a Woken Giant. Dust it, we get a draw. Okay, what do you do next? You know what? I'll move up to the front line. Put ourselves in an aggressive position. And then I, I pass my turn to you. It resolves. Where are you going with this one, Kazama? We're blasting each other. I had a feeling you might do that. You're playing a tank. A 2-2 tank. When an order is given, you damage the HQ. That's rough. That's a tough one. That's rough and tumble. Here's my thinking. Turn one. Get an M4 Sherman out there. My tank's better. What do you want to do with this information? Little infantry never hurt anybody. We could lose the... Uh, or we could uh, make it lose uh, fury. Do we get anything else off of it? No, we don't. We might just be able to dust it with a plane, though. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. You gotta start with something like this. You gotta simplify the board. Sure, we lost two energy as a result. But now, 
we finally got our warplane out there. And you know what? Get this out of here. Not like it was going to attack this turn anyway. But I get uncomfortable when I have too many cards in hand. I don't like to focus on holding my cards. Oh my. Friendly infantry has plus one attack. That's hard. That's a hard one. Your HQ is immune to damage on your turn. I'm, I'm glad you no longer have Fury. Let's put it that way. But don't we have... Um, fully repair a friendly unit when you come out there. Okay, 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 okay. So here's what I'm thinking. It's very simple. Are you a ground unit? <laughs> I mean... A tank is kind of... A, let, let's try it on this. And if it does... Uh, oh, we should do it on this anyway so we don't get killed. If it does... Five damage. It did. Then tanks are ground units. I was just making sure ground unit wasn't like slang for infantry. Anyway. Um, do me a favor and then fully repair this enemy unit, please. Or this friendly unit. Um, yeah, we'll still keep it on the plane. I do want to do this. We don't have the energy for it. So we'll just... Cast out our infantry there, and we'll see. What do you want to do? You're going to do three damage to me? Okay, go ahead. See if I care. I was going to take that trade to begin with, so I'm glad you wasted uh, your turn on it. It has a destruction ability. It's on death. On death, deal two damage to enemy HQ. Big whoop. Big whoop. I'm not afraid. Never been afraid of anything less than that, honestly. That being said, I gotta do something here. <laughs> okay, you move up to the front line. Then we play this M4 Sherman. We get to draw two cards. God, he's good. And you know what? From that point onwards, um, we got a couple choices. I'm gonna start by gaining a credit slot. Let's do that. Then next turn, we'll we'll go up to we'll, we'll flex our resource advantage to get even more progress handled here. You know what? You did, I would have done the same. You did some great work there. Repair all damage to a unit and give it plus one, plus one. You came to play today. I respect that. You came to play today. You know I got a game plan here. Here's what it is. Move to the front line. Repair all units in the front line. Give them plus one, plus two. All of a sudden... I'm looking a lot scarier. Whatever. Whatever. HP's a resource, sweetheart. You never read uh, reddit.com slash r slash magic the gathering? Friendly units have plus one attack. I bet you think you're really cool for making such a dumb play. <laughs> Friendly units have plus one attack. I don't see any need to go to town on you right now. I'll tell you that straight. I think we... This turn, we go yeah, and we go yeah. And we go yeah, so we have artillery out there. And then we go yeah. You don't have enough credits to do that, sir. You don't have enough credits to do that. Three one. Oh, how spooky. Not. Five one? Oh my god. That was a that was big money moves. Unfortunately for you, this is the tutorial. Which means that I can't stop you. Or you can't stop me, that's what I meant. Um Okay, so we want you toasted. There's step one. Oh, something about that is still real satisfying. Then, let's get a nice damage dealer out here. And we'll go yes. And we'll go yes. And then, we'll put... Their support line is full, dude. Okay. Um, well, I'm not going to move my artillery up one, so let's pass turn. Don't really want to move my planes up one either. Oh, what are you doing? You're not doing anything. You're not even playing any cards. It's not fun if you just like roll over. All right. Then give my support units extra attack, please. Thank you. 
And then, um, as you might expect, we'll do something like this. Not enough range? Okay, well then you move forward. Easy enough. And, uh, you know what? Anyone else? Anyone else got anything? Anyone? Oh, let's go! <laughs> it scared me. I'm not gonna lie. The, the sound scared me. You're just not gonna play anything? Oh, that... Kazama, that's called being a sore loser, honestly. That's just, uh... That's just bad manners. Guess what? You got killed by my... My pickup truck. You got killed by my Humvee. <laughs> Japan starter deck unlocked. I did want to see, though, if we could go back to, like, the main menu. I don't want to quit the whole game, which is what happened there. But I want to see what other kind of modes we got going on. Um... In cards, the World War II card game. It seems really cool so far. Seems really accessible. We got to get through this section to see what comes after that. But for now, that's going to do it for this Northern Lion Tries. This seems like a really interesting game. I know a lot of people out there. I mean, let me put it this way. I don't think you have to be like super deep into World War II. I was going to say lore, but you know what I mean. History and strategy and mechanics and stuff like that. Um, it's really just like a, a themed wrapper around it. And it seems like a lot of fun so far. Very accessible. And the price is right. Like, not just the television program. I mean, literally, it's free. I'm assuming they have, you know, different decks or different packs or cards you can buy to build your own decks inside of it. But the shell of it being free is very interesting. I like this a lot. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, subscribe. We're hurtling towards some subscriber milestones. If you want to see some Smash this week, some Doki Doki Literature Club uh, soon, click the subscribe button. Every time I do a Northern Lion Tries, a lot of work goes into these videos, believe it or not. Scouting out the games, sometimes emailing developers. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. It helps me out a great deal. Um, I like to see these around 1,750 likes if possible. Just setting a little internal goal that is now external. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the comments. See ya!